What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and if you're like me and you haven't updated your Windows in quite some time, for me it was just over about 10 months, then you might find yourself getting stuck somewhere along the line of updating. The title of the video mentions being on Windows 10 version 1803, the April 2018 update, and not being able to update to the latest version which is currently 1903, released in May of 2019. Of course, this will work for any version, upgrading to any version. I'm just doing it for this because this is where I have the problem not only on my main gaming desktop, but also the laptop I use for productivity on the go. So usually you head across to Windows Update and check for updates. To which you're just told that you're already on the latest version of Windows, except if you go into the information, you're actually not. So if we go to OS build info, here's where you'd see it being outdated. I've obviously updated mine and got mine to work, but I'm still going to do it on my laptop. So that's how I'll be demonstrating this to you. Just imagine this said 1803 and not 1903. So hypothetically, you click the check for updates button and it doesn't give you an option to update. Well, then you might think you're stuck, but you're not. Don't worry, even though we won't be using the Windows Update tool built in with Windows, the tool I'm going to show you here to force an update to the latest version is an official Microsoft piece of software the Windows 10 Update Assistant. Head across to the first link in the description and you'll see a download Windows 10 page. Now you might be a bit scared by that, but don't worry, this is just a normal update that will be performing much like any other. Your files and programs will remain intact. So at the top, you'll see a gray header bar that says the Windows 10 May 2019 update. Obviously, if you're checking in the future, this may be slightly different, but it should still be the bar up here. Right below it is an update now button. All you need to do is click that. It'll then download an exe, which you can just open as normally, and you'll basically be following the guide that pops up next. I'll show you on my laptop so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Simply follow the instructions and you'll be well on your way to the next version of Windows 10, keeping your files and programs intact. If you're like me, then you may have been prompted to uninstall a program or two. These programs are apparently incompatible with the new version of Windows 10 and might have fixes somewhere on the publisher's website that you'll have to download later on. But for now to update, you'll need to uninstall them, at least temporarily. I had to uninstall an old version of Sandboxy. What it is is not important right now, but it was easy enough to uninstall it, complete the update process and reinstall it if I needed to once I've updated. You'll be left with a Windows 10 Update Assistant program on your computer that you can go ahead and run if you ever have the issue again. Otherwise, you can go ahead and uninstall it from the control panel as you would any other program. Once you've finished the update, you won't need it anymore. Anyways, that's it. I hope this helps you update your Windows. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.